up YouTube welcome to my channel this is my first video on this channel and today I am doing a hair review over West Kiss hair it sent me a 26 cap size large let me tell you let me tell you my head is not big it's just the fact that I ordered off of Asteria hair one day and I I normally get a medium so that day I got a medium and it wouldn't fit it, it would not fit for nothing so i had like a closure right here and so the sides would not stick down this time i ordered a large to be safe hair density 200. today y'all are gonna get an install and a hair review initial hair review let's just get started i was editing i noticed i didn't mention that it's a 13 by 6 frontal and it came with one comb in the front and two combs in the back and it's also a kinky curly it's a kinky curly and i'll have everything linked down in the description box below and i hope you enjoy this video first i'm gonna start by bleaching my knots using bw2 it's just a powder lightener to mix with your 30 well, I use 30 developer. You can use 40, but I use 30 because it takes more time and I'm not a professional with this. And when we wash it, we wanna use Shimmer Light. We wanna take the brassy mist out of the frontal. I mix it up with this, but normally I just apply it with a knife because it smooths it on instead of like pushing it in with this. that I need a little more because it's still powdery. And mix. You want it thick enough so that it doesn't run off. I also let it sit for a little bit because then it firms up more. Gonna let that sit for like two minutes and come right back. And so it has thickened up a little bit more. You wanna apply it. <laughs> apply it. And if some gets on the hair, you just wipe it off. You're just gonna apply it all around softly, not heavy handed. And you wanna be quick with this, so. Next, we're just gonna do the inside. Now, we're just gonna let this sit for 30 minutes or 20. But right now, you just wanna lift the hair up off of the frontal so that it does not get switch on the hair. You just wanna take it off. So yeah, you're just gonna let that sit for like 20, 20 to 30 minutes and then come back. I don't say just come back in the 20 minutes. Come back before, because you never know if the bleach decides to bleach faster on this wig. All right now I'm gonna wash it out with my purple shampoo. These curls haven't even been washed yet and they coming through. Show that. <laughs> you can see it's brown now. It's not just that white, pale color. And the shampoo I like to use is Tresemme Moisture. Seven times moisture. So good for curly hair. Y'all need to copy. And it gives you that wet look even though your hair isn't wet. I use the conditioner most of the time when I'm like doing a wet look a wash and go i use this i also use their shampoo anytime i'm washing my hair i normally do a co-wash with weave i don't normally do a shampoo unless it's like straight out the pack but today 
I'm gonna do it. So now that we're done washing the hair, I'm about to pluck it and then put it on my head, sis. It doesn't look too bad, but um, baby, we don't want a wig, we want a scalp. But so yeah, I'm gonna go pluck it and I'll see you in a second. So what I like to do when plucking my hair, I like to part it. You see that layer right there? I like to pull it out and then I start plucking like this. You don't want to use the tippy top part of, there we go. You don't want to use the tippy top part of the um, tweezers. You want to use the bottom part because otherwise you're not going to be plucking anything. I like to pluck to where I see it thinning out. I don't like to pluck to where it's bald. And that's why I just pluck. And you can see it's thinning out a little bit. And I'm going to go over here in this area because it's a little thick. And that piece is done. I go back about three times for each piece. I go back, I go back like one. Then I go two. And that's the three in front. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to do that around my whole head. I also like to wet the hairline. Some people do it dry, but I prefer to wet it because it eases the hair out of the knots that it's in. And then I'll get back to you when I'm done with that. You can tell the difference. It's more thin. And I have one more layer, as you can see. One more layer. This side looks kind of thick. My side stand out. So yeah, I got one more layer to do and it'll be good. And you also don't want to over pluck in case you see like spots needed to be plucked. You can go back and do that. So I, once I do one layer, I do that for about like 15 seconds. Then I go to the second layer. Then about 15 seconds. You don't want to stay steady on one layer because that causes balding. So once I'm done with three layers, I scoot it back. And then I go in the areas that I see that needs it. So don't just spend time on one layer because then you'll become bald. And you can't get the hair back. So that's when I just go this way and see the streaking streaking motion that causes the natural hairline you see that so i can see that this part needs to be plugged in i think we're good i don't like to go too far back some people like to go far back i think that's good for me you don't want to pluck the middle too heavy so that you can always do a middle part and middle parts are usually full I tend to focus more on the side than the middle. So just do like I say one layer. And if one layer is not enough for you, then just do two, but don't do three. All depends on the wig. So I'll probably do like two layers. This is all the hair that has came out so far. I'm on my last piece. I forgot to mention, do not stay in one spot. You want to stay moving. Because again, the bald spot will come if you do not move you have to move around so we're all plucked to my liking and this is the hair that came out um not too bad but it was a thick lace you had to get in there you know and after i pluck i like to take my makeup it's by ruby kiss so this is the lace before makeup you want to flip it inside out you're just gonna blend it dab some more of it just like that how it looks with the foundation on there. I like to use the Bold Hold Active. That's the splat. This the splat. You lay it on your forehead and you measure it. You want to go ahead and cut it. So, what you want to do is cut not too far up now, just about right up around each side and I do like four so yeah look at this dude <laughs> wait till you see the to take my ear tabs off I just take this hair put it behind my ear cut it like and then I go around my ear and yes hair comes off with it you want to see if it measures up like if you can put your hair behind your ear your ear doesn't fold then it's a good it's a good little spot and then we're gonna do that to the other side and I'm looking in the mirror and it fits perfectly. And this hairline is looking very much buff. That I might have to pluck a little more. But we'll see that once we glue it down. And see if we gotta pluck some more. So, I do piece by piece. And I just glue it down. I don't glue 
the whole thing. I glue piece by piece by piece by piece. You wanna like measure it and then I just put some glue. And then we just go blow dry it. Blow dry on cool. Some people blow dry on hot, but I feel like that melts the glue. Once the glue turns clear, that's when it's kind of tacky and then you wanna put it down. I personally do three layers because it holds for a long time. So then we're gonna add another layer. So now that we're done with our layers, we're just gonna push the hair back and then stick it down. Take your comb, push the hair back. It's almost like you're pushing the comb part, this part into it. So you just push it in. As you can see, it's on there. And then I'm just gonna do that around my whole head. Just, and I'll get back to you when I cut it off. So now we're gonna take a eyebrow shaper and cut the lace off. The reason I don't use scissors is because it gives it a raggedy look. When it's raggedy, it looks better instead of having it just straight around. You know what I mean? Like straight, it looks better like curvy. So now I'm gonna just go in, go in and cut it. And it's be it works better if you're sharp. Nope. And just like that, just a little more glue on the end. I'm gonna go back in and pluck it a little bit. And I'm just gonna do that around my whole head. I just wrap my hair up, my lace front up, and then I'm gonna do my edges. I'm not gonna do my edges on camera, but if you want a video on that, let me know. Because it takes a, a lot of time. Just gonna pluck it, and then do my edges, and I'll be back with the final look. So, this is the final product. I melted, <laughs> manipulated this lace because it wasn't my color. It was not. But I tried to manipulate it the best way I could. And this is the final product. It's 26 inches and I love the curls. Like, can y'all get into the curl? They're bomb. All the links for this hair will be down below. And also like, comment, and subscribe. And turn your post notifications on so you know when I post.